In this session, we are going to discuss about partnership. Partnership is nothing but two or more than two persons coming together to do a business. And we are supposed to find out the profit of individual partners when the overall profit is given to us. Now to solve questions based on partnership, we first need to understand the various parameters on which the profit of a partner depends. For example, let us assume there are two persons A and B and these two persons wants to start a business together. We very well know that to start a business, we should have some investment. Let us assume A has invested 50,000 and B has invested 1 lakh rupees to start the business. So together with 1.5 lakh rupees, A and B start a business. At the end of the year, when the profit is calculated, it comes out to be somewhere around 30,000. So can we divide this 30,000 equally between the two partners A and B? No, because the investment of A was only 50,000, whereas investment of B was rupees 1 lakh. So it is clear that the person who invests more in the business deserves more profit and the person who invests less should get lesser profit. So from this, we can understand that the profit of a person P depends on the investment made by the person. That is, the profit is proportional to the investment. As the investment of the person increases, the profit increases. And as the investment decreases, the profit also decreases. So that's the first parameter on which the profit depends. That is the investment made by the partner. The second parameter here is the time of investment. Let us assume A and B together have invested 1 lakh each and they have started a business. That means with the total investment of 2 lakhs, A and B have started a business. After 6 months, due to some reasons, B wants to quit the business. So what does B do here? He will collect his 1 lakh rupees back and come out of the business. But A continues for the remaining 6 months. And at the end of the year, when the profit was calculated, it comes out to be 50,000. Now, can we divide the profit of 50,000 equally between A and B? That is 25,000 for A and 25,000 for B? No. Though the investments made by both A and B were equal, the investment of A was there for 12 months. And the investment made by B was there only for 6 months because B left the business after 6 months. So that is the reason the profit share of these two persons should be different. A deserves a higher profit when compared to B because his investment was there for a larger period of time. So very clearly the second parameter on which the profit of a person depends is the time of investment. So we can say that the profit is also proportional to the time of investment. If a person is invested for more time, his profit should be more. The person who has invested for less time, his profit should be less. So these are the two major parameters on which the profit of a partner depends. That is the investment and the time of investment. And by combining these two, we can say that profit is proportional to investment into time. This is nothing but a joint variation. So profit depends on the product of investment and time. So as the product increases, the profit increases. As the product decreases, the profit decreases. Or we can say that as any of these two increases, the profit increases. And as any of these two decreases, the profit also decreases. And from this proportionality, we can understand that if there are two persons A and B, the ratio of the profit should be taken as profit of A by profit of B should be equal to investment of A into time of A's investment divided by investment of B into time of B's investment. So this is how we are supposed to divide the profit between two partners. So PA is nothing but the profit of person A, PB is nothing but the profit of person B. And IATA are the investments and time of investment of A and IB and TB is the investment and time of investment of B. This can also be written as PA is to PB equals to IATA that is investment into time of investment is to IBTB investment into time of investment for B. So to find out the individual profits of any of these partners, we must first get the ratio with the help of the investments and the time of investment. And once we get the ratio of their profits, the individual profits can be calculated from the given total profit. Similarly, in some cases, there are three partners, let us say A, B and C. So the profit division among those three partners again follows the same logic. And we can say that the profit of partner A is to profit of B is to profit of partner C should be taken as IATA is to IBTB is to ICT. That is nothing but the profit is proportional to investment into time of investment for each of the partners. 
So here again we get the ratio of the profits from the investments and times which are given to us and once we get the ratio we can find out the individual profits. Similarly even in case of loss the loss of the partners depends on investment and time of investment. So we can say that loss of partner A is to loss of partner B will be equal to investment of A into time of A's investment is to investment of B into time of B's investment. Whether it is profit or loss, both are proportional to investment and time of investment.